Hey, my name's Josh. Welcome back to the workshop. And today we are going to have a look at the Hyundai 40 volt chainsaw. First things first, this tool was sent to me by Hyundai. They have no editorial content over the video. They can't tell me what it's going to turn out like to remove anything. They're not going to see this video before it gets published. So even though they have sent me the tool and there will be a link in the description if you do want to go buy one after you see the video and I will get a kickback from that. You think what you will, but I have always been honest in all my reviews and I will continue to be honest whether there's a kickback at the end of it or not, because to me, honesty means more than any money that I can make. So let's have a look at the tool then, shall we? This is the 40 volt chainsaw from Hyundai. I'll be honest with you, it took me about, took me longer than I would like to admit on how to pronounce that right, because obviously the pronunciation has changed in the UK. That took me a long time to figure out which is ridiculous, right? But anyway, this is from their 40 volt range of gardening machinery, gardening tools. They've burst out onto the market really this year. They've been around, but you know, this year in particular, they've massively pushed out on sales. They have everything from corded tools to petrol tools to uh, battery powered tools. And obviously this is the battery powered one. This one here is 40 volts. It comes with a two and a half amp hour battery. Personally, I would have preferred maybe like a four or six or eight, but in reality, with the work that I've put it through so far, I think two and a half amp hours is fine. If I was buying one, I'd probably buy two or maybe three of these batteries just so I've always got one to, to go to while the other one's charging. Run time, it states on the website about 57 minutes. As with everything, I think you have to take like a pinch of salt. However, with the bits and pieces that I got done over the weekend, again, I think that's around about right and fair. Charge time is around about 75 minutes. I timed it earlier when I recharged the battery and that was pretty much dead on. So it comes with a 14 inch bar. It's got a 3 8 type chain on there. I can't fault anything really. What you see here is pretty much what came in the box. You get the battery, you get the unit, bar, chain, charger, and the sheet. It came as a bare unit, so we had to put the bar on. I'll show you how to do that now. That was nice and simple. And one of the things I really like about this tool is that it's zero, you don't need any tools to change anything. So all we do is just take this off, that unscrews, and as you can see, there's the bar. <laughs> it's been well used, been well used, that's for sure. Uh, we have a couple locating pins. We, this is your tensioner for the chain. So obviously there's a little threaded rod that runs around here. If you've seen one chain you'll know what I'm talking about. The bar locates on that pin. You turn that, that'll push it this way, obviously, which tightens the chain. And you turn it the other way and it loosens the chain. And that's really all I can say about that, to be honest with you. Again, super, oh, one thing I will say, that's all I can say, but here's another bit, is there's a little rubber like lug that goes in here. It's worth making sure that that sits in there properly, right? There is a curve on one side, which goes against the curve here. Make sure to put that in. And the only reason I say that is because I've taken this off a couple of times just to check to see how everything was working and it fell on the floor. So just something to keep an eye on. And to put it back together, pop it on, tie up, which is good. So we've got the tensioner, we have easy toolless changing on there. What else have we got? We've got a hole here for our bar oil. Now this is the only thing that it doesn't come with that you would need it for to be able to use it. And that's something you can pick up from any screw fix or anything like that. Screw fix tool station anywhere. There is a little window here so you can see whether you're running out of oil or not. You have a safety, then you have the trigger. So you push the safety down, pull it, and it will time out. So it's not, it's not needlessly draining the battery, which is an, another plus. To use it, all we do is you take the battery, notice that the pins here, or the, the female section for the pins are here. On the inside, they're at the back. So that's pointing that way. Pop it in, push it down, and then we have, we've only got one bar at the moment, but it will show you how many charge you how many bars you've got. Button turns on. And it's got a brake as well. So we'll take that out while we're talking about it and playing with it. I have some notes to go through off of their website just to make sure I don't forget anything because I am pretty useless sometimes. So we've got 40 volt cordless battery operated chainsaw, weighs 3.9 kilos, which is like nothing really in all honesty. 14 inch bar with a chain, uh, which is 3 8 chain. Tool free chain tensioning, love that. Lithium ion battery, interchangeable battery, which is perfect. Like I said, ideally you'd want something with a little bit more oomph, but this has worked well. I'd probably just pick up a couple of batteries and keep them on hand. Comes with a three year warranty for home users and one year commercial warranty. So, and that is really important, right? Because a lot of the tools that you see in here will have different warranties on them. I don't know if you know this, but they'll have different warranties on them. So this record power DS300 uh, bench sander over there, disc sander, 
isn't warranted for commercial use. Record power don't necessarily warranty all of their items for commercial, industrial, whatever they want to word it as, so working as a business. But you do get one year with this. So one thing that they say about the warranty is it will come with a full parts and service backup for years to come. So even when it's out of warranty, you'll still be able to get parts and you'll still be able to speak to technicians to try and diagnose the problem, get it fixed. That in itself is amazing. There's so many tool companies now. That's why I like using Axminster and Numberjack because when I call them up and I'm like, we need a spare or we need this or something's gone wrong, there's either somebody there that knows what they're talking about or they can sort me out and they can pick up a spare, which it means everything. The fact that Hyundai are doing that, I think is speaks volumes about where their company is going to go over the next few years. So I used this over the weekend as I had a fair bit of use, as you can tell from the amount of muck that's now falling on my table here. Uh, what did we do? We cut down a whole bunch. I think there was maybe, there was 14 rigid. I think there was maybe 12 little conifers. They're four inch trunks. Zipped through all of those nice and quick. And it was, it was a really nice, like, very impressed with it. Then I took it over to the other side of the yard, cut a whole bunch of bushes down with it. Uh, cut a whole bunch of like one, two, maybe three, four inch limbs off of a bush that got a little bit excited over the last few years and we hadn't really kept hold of it. And then I took it out today and I gave it a little bit of a torture chest, take a little bit of a torture chest, torture chest, torture test, torture test. There we go. So I took it out and gave it a little bit of a torture, torture test today at the workshop cutting firewood. Now, the fire that we have out there has been sat there for about 18 months. And it went through the whole of last summer where it was like literally 40 degrees and it's in the sun all the time, so it's dry, you know? So this was cutting through a whole bunch of it. We cut through some big old pieces that were by far too big to be using this saw with, and not something that would be recommended. But I thought I'd give it a go and just see how it worked. Now it did overheat, the battery got too hot and the battery management system kicked in, which is awesome because I'll be honest with you, the last thing I want is an overheating lithium ion battery next to my hands. So it's quite, I was quite pleased to see that it had kicked in uh, I put the battery in front of the fan, cooled it down, put it back in, carried on working because I was cutting through a 14 inch wide Leylandi trunk. Uh, when I got the moisture meter out uh, to see how dry the timber was, it was coming out around about 14, 15%. So yeah, probably a little bit much really for this poor little saw. If I was using my Husqvarna, the 120 that I've got, I'm sure that would have overheated as well and it wouldn't have been happy. And I will point out, I did all of that without sharpening the chain. I'm sure there'll be people screaming at me in the comments, but I just wanted to see how it would work for maybe somebody who doesn't necessarily look after their tools very well. And I was very impressed. One thing that it does say on the notes here that I think is worth mentioning, and so maybe something that you think about but don't necessarily think about, is there's no cables, no petrol, no pollution. Now, I used this the weekend, and then I put it in the back of my Volvo and let it sit there all weekend on a piece of paper just to see if it would drain out. Uh, if we would get any bar oil in the car or anything like that. There was obviously there's no petrol, so my car didn't smell. I wasn't worried about leaving a tank full of petrol in there in the sunshine, because obviously there's no petrol in it. I did take the battery out, I'm not really that in the sun, not an idiot. And there was no bar oil dripping everywhere, which I think is like, I'm quite pleased with that. So it's the sort of tool that you could pop in the back of your car and not necessarily worry too much if you forgot to take it out. Well, not worry at all, really. It does mention on the listing that it's perfect for chopping medium-sized trees, anything maybe up to like eight to 10 inches. If you're only gonna cut down a couple of them, perfect, man. I love just being able to just pull the trigger and it starts and then let go of the trigger and it stops. Like that's awesome. There's so much to be said for that. And I'm not a huge proponent of battery tools, everything I can get, it, like all my nailers are air at the moment and all that sort of stuff. But to be able to just pick it up, chop a few limbs and go, if you have a bit of land and you're riding around an ATV and you've got maybe some trails or something and you're worried that there might be a few, few trees that have fallen down, this is perfect for that sort of thing. You want to go out there and chop a little bit of firewood for the winter? Perfect. You've got some trees to cut down or you're a landscaper and you know that you want to keep something in there because you want to cut some four inch fence posts or you want to go around and limb up some trees. Man, this thing is awesome. Couple batteries, right? And then you can just walk around, pop them all off, don't have to worry about keeping diesel too straight, you don't have to worry about the, the mess that it's gonna make, the smell, very impressive. This here is my chainsaw helmet, right? So obviously we have the visor, which I'm using, but I didn't have to use the ear protection because there's no noise. Like that is a wonderful thing, especially if you're a home gamer, especially if your home startup refers to as a professional homeowner, 
You know, if you're not gonna be doing this all day long and you just want something that's gonna work for you, perfect. If it's not, you're worried that it's not gonna, like my Husky's great, but it cuts out no end on me. It winds me up, I'll start it, I'll be checking the carb, I'll be checking the sparks on it, and it will cut out, cut out, gets too hot, cuts out this. You know it's too hot because the battery management system kicks in, fine, let it cool down a little bit, not a problem. No need to worry about air protection, no need to worry about it leaking fuel everywhere, leaking bar oil everywhere. Is it perfect? No. Are any of my tools perfect? No. Does it do what it says that it does? Yes. Does it do it very well? I would say so, yeah, I'm quite pleased with it really. I'd be quite interested to see how the rest of the range works because I think having a single battery system for all of your garden tools is a great thing. Especially if you want a little bit more oomph, like you want to use a chainsaw, you don't want to be dragging around a cord everywhere with you. Having a battery system, especially 40 volt, 40 volt one, is a great thing. I like the tallest use of it. I like to being able to make sure that the chain is tensioned correctly without having to go get the spanner. And I like how light it is. And I'll be honest with you, the missus was eyeing it up. She really wants to take it down to the allotment and do some bits and pieces with it. I guess the question is, would I buy one? And yes, I think I would, if I'm honest with you. I... When I received it, I was a little bit dubious because I like the gas stuff. I don't normally go for battery or electric. I do like gas tools because I like the ability to just be able to pour the gas in and just go, pour the gas in and go. However, the ease of use, the lack of needing fuel and two stroke, the fact, especially if you've got another battery, <laughs> rubbish everywhere, especially if you've got another battery and you can just like, this one gets uh, drained out, pop another one in, do what you need to do, you get it on charge. I think that's quite nice really. And unless you're going full pelt all day, every day, I think this is a perfect tool and definitely something I would recommend. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know below what you think to it. If you think there's anything I missed out or you'd like to have known anything more, please let us know. And I'll try and answer my best in the comments or we'll do another video on it. Did you like the video? Would you buy one? Most importantly, would you buy one? What do you think to the tool? I would love to hear what you have to say. Please let us know below. You have a great day. You take it easy and I shall catch you on the next one, all right? Have fun.